Hugh Ramapolo Masekela, a South African trumpeter, flugel, hornist, cornetist, composer, and singer, has died. He was born in April 1939 and died on January the 23rd, 2018, aged 78. He has been described as the father of South African jazz. He was known for his jazz compositions and for writing well-known anti-apartheid songs such as <coughs> excuse me, but so way to blues and bring him back home. He also had a number one US pop hit in 1968 with his version of Grazing in the Brass. He was born in Kwaguka Township, uh, Bitbank, South Africa, to Thomas Selena Masekela, who was a health inspector and sculptor, and his wife Pauline Bowers Masekela, a social worker. As a child, he started to sing and play piano and largely was raised by his grandmother, who ran an illegal bar for minors. At the age of 14, so in 1953 or 1954, after seeing the film Young Man with a Horn, in which Kirk Douglas um, played a character modeled on American jazz cornetist Bix Beiderbeck, or Beiderbecki, Masekela took up playing the trumpet. His first trumpet from the famous um, African-American jazz musician and trumpetist uh, Louis Armstrong was given to him by Archbishop Trevor Huddleston, the anti-apartheid chaplain at St. Peter's Secondary School, now known as St. Martin's School in Rosettenville. Huddleston asked the leader of the then Johannesburg native municipal brass band Uncle Sauda to teach Masekela the rudiments of trumpet playing. Masekela quickly learned how to play um, the trumpet in 1956, after leading other ensembles, Masekela joined Alfred Herbert's African Jazz Review. From 1954, Masekela played music that closely reflected his life experience, uh, such as apartheid and the oppression of the black majority of South Africa. Um, in addition to writing and composing songs, he spread political change. He was an artist who in his music vividly portrayed the struggles and sorrows as well as the joys and passions of South Africa. His music protested about apartheid, slavery, government, the hardships individuals were living. He reached a large population that also felt oppressed due to South Africa's situation. At the end of 1959, Dollar band, later known as Abdullah Ibrahim, Kipi Muketsi, uh, Mahaya Nchoko, Johnny Gertzi, and Hugh formed the Jazz Epistles, the first African jazz group to record an LP. Following the March 1960 Sharpville massacre, where 69 protesters were shot dead in Sharpville, and the South African government banned gatherings of 10 or more people, and the apartheid states increased brutality, Masekela left South Africa. During that period, he visited the United States where he was befriend befriended by a famous uh, jazz singer, Harry Belafonte. In 1964, he married his first wife, Makeba. They got divorced in 1966. He had hits in the United States with the pop jazz tunes Up, Up and Away, 1967, and the number one smash Grazing in the Grass, 1968, which sold four million copies. In 1974, Masekela and French Stuart Levin organized the Zaire 74 Music Festival in Kinshasa, uh, set around the Rumble in the Jungle Boxing Match. Zaire was the official name of the country that had been known as the Belgian Congo. Um, Zaire was used from 1965 to 1967 um, and probably as uh, the official Africanization or African cultural pride uh, policy of um, 
Zaire's dictatorial president, Mr. Mobutu Sese Seko. Since 1997, the country has been known as the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's a large country in uh, Central Africa. Mr. Masekela played primarily in jazz ensembles with guest appearances on recordings by The Birds and Paul Simon. In 1984, he released the album Techno Bush. Um, in 1987, he had a hit single with Bring Him Back Home. A renewed interest in his African roots led Mr. Masekela to collaborate with Western Central African musicians and finally to reconnect with Southern African players when he set up with the help of Jive Records a mobile studio in Botswana just over the South African border from 1980 to 1984. Here he reabsorbed and reused Mba Kanga strains, a style he continued to use following his return to South Africa in the early 1990s. In 2003, he was featured in the documentary film Amandla, A Revolution in Four-Part Harmony. In 2004, he released his autobiography, Still Grazing, The Musical Journey of Hugh Masekela, co-authored with journalist D. Michael Cheers. In 2006, he was described by Michael A. Gomez, professor of history and Middle Eastern and Islamic studies at New York University as the father of South African jazz. In 2009, he released the album Fola, meaning to get well, to heal, his second recording for Four Quarters Entertainment Dash or Slash Times Square Records. In 2010, he was featured with his son Selema Masakela in a series of videos on ESPN. In December 2013, he guested with the Dave Matthews Band in Johannesburg, South Africa. In 2016, at Emperor's Palace, Johannesburg, Masekela and Abdullah Ibrahim performed together for the first time in 60 years, reuniting the jazz epistles in commemoration of the 40th anniversary of the historic uh, June uh, the 16th, 1976 youth demonstrations. He was involved in several social initiatives and served as a director on the board of the Lunchbox Fund, a nonprofit organization that provides a daily meal to students of township schools in Soweto. Uh, and Soweto is uh, a township of the city of Johannesburg in Gauteng, South Africa, bordering the city's mining belt in the south. Its name is an English syllabic abbreviation for Southwestern Townships. Um, in 2011, it had over 1.2 million inhabitants of whom over 98% were classified as black Africans. Uh, the most uh, widespread first language or native language was the Zulu language spoken by over 37% of the people. Um, so from 1964 to 1966, he was married to singer and activist Miriam Makeba and was the father of American television host Sal Masekela. He died in Johannesburg on the early morning of January the 23rd, 2018, from prostate cancer, aged 78. He was nominated for a Grammy Award three times, including a nomination for Best World Music Album for his 2012 <coughs> album Jabulani, one for Best Musical Cast Show Album for Sarafina, The Music of Liberation, 1989, and one for Best Contemporary Pop Performance for Grazing in the Grass, Grazing in the Grass, in 1968. 
Among his honors were uh, an honorary doctorate in music at Rhodes University in 2015, an honorary doctorate in music at University of York in 2014, and the order of Ikam Manga uh, presented to him in the 2010 South African National Orders ceremony.